I'm Rick, and I want to talk about repairing a delaminated joint. Most times, I glue together my stocks and handles using either polyurethane or epoxy glue. In this particular case, I used epoxy. I glued up the handle of a spear gun, oh, maybe six months ago, and for whatever reasons, I just left it for a while, didn't get around to uh, having a look at it again. And when I picked it up again, I found that one of the joints had come loose. It had delaminated. My guess is that when I originally did the joint in epoxy, I clamped it too tight, squished out the epoxy, and there wasn't enough to make a proper joint or a proper bond. When the seasons change, so did the humidity, and it made the different parts of timber move slightly differently. So the crack opened up and became quite visible. I'd gone into a bit of trouble with the handle, so how did I fix it? I decided to flood the crack with thin, penetrating epoxy. Normal epoxy is probably a bit too thick and probably wouldn't penetrate too well into that crack. I opted to use this brand because I already had some on the shelf. But other brands are probably just as good. When mixing and using epoxy, I have a special trick. It's called reading the instructions and following them. It's a radical approach, I know. I also use protective gloves to stop the epoxy touching my skin. I also use this little scale when I'm mixing up the epoxy. It helps get proportions exactly right. All up, I used a smidgen over three grams of mixed up epoxy. That was all I needed for this particular job. To stop leakage, I wrapped it around with masking tape. and I squeezed it down good and tight to make a good seal. I left the wall three to four millimetres higher than the flat surface of the handle. I locked the gun in a vise. Then I used a carpenter's level to make sure that the top of the handle was dead level. Then I poured in the epoxy. It filled the crack nicely. Okay, now that I've poured on a layer of epoxy and it's gone down into the crack and there's enough epoxy sitting up on the surface to make me sure that it's flooded it completely, I'm going to leave it to set. And when I say leave it, I mean leave it. I'm going to stay well away from it overnight. Let it set properly. There's always a temptation to fiddle with these things and that's the last thing you want to do. It's morning, it's time to take a look. Looks okay. Hmm. Yeah, the uh, epoxy is certainly set, but it's still a little sticky. Not really time to do anything serious to it right now. If you look, you can see the black line where the crack has been filled. This isn't quite as good as the original hairline joint that I envisaged, but it's certainly still acceptable. I'll give it another day or so to make sure that that epoxy is really completely cured, 100%. Then I'll clean it up a bit and go on with the rest of the build. It's always best to get things right from the start, and prevention's better than cure. But I think I've cured this problem. So if you do have a delamination, it's not the end of the world. There is a fix.